Your friends will say, but she's lovely, you know. They see Christ, but see how this tips. When they see Christ, you've got to give them a chance to know that they see Christ. Here's the most fatal thing in sharing the gospel. I've talked to people who say, I just don't know how it works because, see, I go to work or I live in a house with friends. And this is what happens. I really try and represent Christ and let him live in me. And I really try and be decent. But nobody ever asks me about Jesus. And as you get older, it gets loads worse. People say, well, I'm in this office, right? And I really try and do the right thing all the time. and be able, But nobody ever asks me about Jesus. Mm-hmm. You've got to say something about Jesus. People just think you're a really nice person, even when you know you're not. You've got to speak of Christ. Look at what he says here. Paul, verses 12 to 13. So death is at work in us, even as I am a fractured human being in my club at uni. Here's what happens. Life comes to you, my friend. It's weird, right? But you've got to be proud that you're fractured as you look from the finishing line. I'm 30 seconds away from nonsense all my life. And I know that's who I am, but you know when I'm here at 90? Christ is in me. The power of eternity is in me. I'm going to see him, and he's going to flourish in me. And the more broken I am, the more wonderful he is. And then you have to say to people, it's Christ. Listen closely to me. If you don't cross the pain line, being a Christian will be dull. Really dull. Cross the line. It's Christ. Speak of Christ. Get the eyes off you. Get the eyes on the exchanged one who lives in you. Extrovert or introvert, loud or quiet, speak of Christ. 